Yo, what's good? Bill Burr here, man. Listen to this. I was listening to this at work the other day, man. And y'all got to listen to this, man. It's hilarious, man. Time I saw that fucking monkey eating that other monkey alive, just digging meat out of its back. And he's like, ah, ah. 60 minutes it. comes on, right? Who doesn't want to watch that show and pretend they're smart? You know? I like it. Some more, morally safer comes on. And you know he smells like an old person. Some old people don't smell like old people, but he looks like he smells like an old person. What is you that know? smell? What's smells the old people smell? Is that Ben Gay? You know, a couple of wars, maybe a date rape. Um, <laughs> so he's interviewing Meryl Streep. All right. The great Meryl Streep. And they're going through all her old, her old friggin' life and all the movies and all the different characters that she's played. Oh, first of all, they start they start the report off with Morley Safer just sitting there, right, smelling a fucking Ben Gay and whiskey, right? <laughs> and uh, he says how, you know, how over in England, you know, they, you know, I don't know. They make their, their actors, they, they award them by calling them lords, and they knight them. But over here in America, all we do is just give them this shiny statue, and it's just like, starts off right off the bat, for some reason, just shitting on America. <laughs> in Britain, they honor their distinguished actors with royal titles. Lord Olivier, Dame Helen Mirren. The best Don't we know can who do those is are. nominate them for Oscars, an annual hyped-up competition for a glossy little statue. If we did have a royal list, the name of Meryl Streep would surely be at the very top. Like an Oscar is somehow beneath Sir uh, Anthony Michael Hall. I mean, or or Lord what? Lord of what? Lord of what? At least you can fucking hold our statue. You're Lord of what kingdom? That phony horseshit that you have with Prince Charles and the popper or whatever the fuck is going on over there? You know? Look, if the Rothschilds knight you over there, then that fucking means something. Then you can come become part of their yacht convoy as they go around the world. I don't I know y'all a lot of people in other countries do the whole lord or king or queen thing. I with all due respect, I don't recognize nobody as being above anybody else. I don't care what bloodline you think you come from or this that and the other you know like look you pee and poo just like me so chill out you know what i'm saying chill out chill out figuring out how to take over another currency right then you're in with them okay but if you're if you're fucking you know lord of this and your your wingman is the duke of elton john i mean it's the whole thing is fucking stupid right so right off the bat it's already bugging me but i know nia hates when i talk to the tv right so i you know I keep my, my big fucking yap shut. And they start talking about Meryl Streep, ba -ba 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 -ba, going through the whole thing. And then um, the old guy there, smelling of, uh, you know, I think I went too meds, far back. Goes, uh, you know, whenever they talk about the roles you play, they always say, you know, you play independent minded women, very strong women. And Meryl goes, I know, that's, yeah, that's what they say. You know, when a guy, they never say to a guy, oh, you're playing a strong willed character, yada, yada, yada. I let that go, whatever. No biggie. I'll take that. There's one observation that gets her back up when people note that she's played a lot of strong-minded women. No one has ever asked an actor, you're playing a strong-minded man. We assume that men are strong-minded or have opinions, but a strong-minded woman is a different animal. I let that go, whatever, no biggie, I'll take that. Interesting. Probably true, what the fuck do I know? I'm not a woman, right? <laughs> oh, woman. And then they show her after she played <laughs> Margaret Thatcher, and she's giving a speech to a bunch of women's, young girls, and she's trying to inspire them. And she, she takes a quote from Margaret Thatcher, and it was something along the lines of, if you want a bunch of people to talk around, talk, stand around talking about doing something, you know, something, uh, go, you, you got to talk to men. But if you want it to actually get done, you got to get a woman. And then all the chicks go, woo! Margaret Thatcher said, if you, if you want something spoken about, ask a man. If you want it done, ask a woman. So I laugh and I'm like, yay, reverse sexism. Right. Right? Just seeing, you know, 
show up. My, my whole fucking You're not theory, solving any issues. Piece of shit. You just don't have the power to act out what the fuck you want to do. Because that, that right there, if you flip that around... As a guy, I, you, if you're running for president, it's fucking over. You can't be like, let me tell you, and I'll tell you what, after I get your jobs, and after I fix this economy, okay, and I'm the man to do it, because I'll tell you right now, if you're looking for someone to stand around and talk about doing something, you get a woman. You want to get it done, you got to get a man. Here are my nuts, right here on the podium. <laughs> Vote for me November 4th. Go fuck yourself, right? You did that, your presidential campaign's over. She does it. It's fucking adorable. Oh, and it's just as fucking Go back, ignorant. go back, go back. You know what I mean? He said, here are my nuts. My, my whole fucking theory, how everybody is just a piece of shit. You just don't have the power to act out what here the are my nuts on the podium. Because that, that right there, if you flip that around, as a guy, uh, if you're running for president, thing. it's fucking... Women, women are so funny. They always talk about stuff that men do. You know what I'm saying? Or say... But they never think about what they do and what they say. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for instance, if if a president, you know what I'm saying, or somebody said this as a man, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Over. You can't be like, let me tell you, and I'll tell you what, after I get your jobs and after I fix this economy, okay, and I'm the man to do it because I'll tell you right now, if you're looking for someone to stand around and talk about doing something, you get a woman. You want to get it done, you got to get a man. Here are my nuts right here on the podium. Vote for me November 4th. <laughs> fuck yourself, right? You did that, your presidential campaign's over. She does it. It's fucking adorable. Uh, it's just as fucking ignorant. Bro. You know what I mean? What the fuck do you get off saying that we stand around and do nothing, Meryl Streep? Right. Huh? Or quoting Margaret, and you too, Margaret Thatcher. Who's Margaret Thatcher anyways? Let me tell you, you bitches something, all right? We faked a fucking lunar landing. Okay, Yo, you think that's just talking? Anybody can land on the fucking moon. That's easy. But to pretend you did it, all right, and get everybody to shut the fuck up about it, that, 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 that right there, that takes skill. So whatever. So I make that little comment. And uh, did I just go, that, 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 that? That's only fucking porky pig. So... So I make that comment, and, like, you know, I've been with Nia long enough that I can tell by the side of her face when she's just thinking about, like, what if I just grabbed everything I really cared about and walked out of this house right now? <laughs> she got, like, that fucking mad at me, you know? And I'm like, she's just, like, right after the story was over, she just shut the fucking thing off. And, uh, I know what happened. Next thing you know, I'm walking to 7-Eleven to get some ice cream. I, I don't even know what happened. It was all going great. You know, am I the asshole there? What, what am I? Am I supposed to just fucking sit there with my mouth hanging open with drool coming out when I watch TV? If somebody says something douchey, I, I'm not supposed to say it. That's the thing. Like today, nowadays, people people get mad when you have a difference of opinion. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got a difference of opinion or you disagree. They don't mean, you know what I'm saying, a person, like, I need to hate. Oh, you don't agree that Louisiana hot sauce is the best hot sauce? You talking about, you talking about Frank's? Frank's Red Hot, are you crazy? You're crazy. You're crazy, man. No, no, I hate you, bro. Like, well, I don't know, man. I don't even know if that was a good example. But uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos, man. And uh, peace.